Everybody, the first thing that we're always going to do with any word problem is what? Right, we're going to read the question first. What is it that we're being asked to do? Why am I walking into this situation? Again, you, you, don't, you don't want to walk into an unfamiliar place and not be told what's going on. It only gets more stressful, only gets more confusing. So let's go ahead and do ourselves that favor of addressing what it is that we're trying to do. Question reads, how many square yards of wrapping paper will Donald need to completely cover the present? And let me go ahead and underline some very important keywords and elements here. So how many square yards of wrapping paper will we need to completely cover the present? So two sets of keywords there, square yards and completely cover the present. My party people, what math word comes to mind when you read all of this? What math word or math idea might have come to mind? My ass bad party people. Hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible and we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. Everybody, when we say length times width times height, what math idea is that? That's volume, that's right. Length times width times height is volume. Um, but let's see if that actually applies to what we're doing right over here. Because everyone, let's go ahead and think about this. If you're trying to calculate volume, can anybody remind me what kind of units volume is in? Because for some units, for some things, it's just regular units. For area, it's square units. For volume, it's what type of units? Right, for volume, it's cubic units. Let me remind you guys one more time right over here. Let me help you out because this is going to be really important to understand. Remember, if it's, if it's just blank units, and what I mean by units is like feet, centimeters, kilometers. Um, that's what I mean. So if it's just blank units, that's a distance, which can also be seen as perimeter. Now, if we're talking about square units, we're talking area. And if we're talking cubic units, We're talking volume. So for those of us that were thinking perimeter, thinking area, thinking volume, let's prove which one of those it is. Everyone, the question reads, how many square units? How many square yards? So which of these are we finding? Area, perimeter, or volume? Yeah, we're finding area in some sense. So that's already a dead giveaway that if you're thinking volume, it's actually not volume because the words don't add up. Yes or no, does that make sense before I continue? For volume, we should have seen cubic units, but we didn't see that. Cool, so I'm just making sure I'm calming those down who may have thought that it was volume. We can actually tell that it's not gonna be the case in this one. Cool, hey, I'm glad that we're learning, right? Again, it's these little things that we gotta learn and get used to. So, we're, we're looking at area. Now, here's the thing about this question, and here's why this question might be hard. Only reason this question might be hard is because a lot of y'all haven't practiced surface area. Because think about it like this. 
What does the question say? Hey, Donald wants to wrap a gift that's in the shape of a rectangular prism. Let me show you what a rectangular prism looks like, gang. Here's a rectangular prism with my perfect drawing, obviously. You, know, you can't really mess with the way I draw because I'm just the best. So let me go ahead and just draw this, you know, no help needed. I'm not even duplicating anything. I'm drawing everything from scratch. Bam, there you go. How you doing? Keep it moving. Right over there, nice and perfect. So there's my rectangular prism, my box, my gift that I drew. So when we take it, I'm a true artist, exactly. So with that said, if we're taking a look at this though, if we're talking about area, area and completely covering this present, everybody, that's not regular area. This is surface area, because if you take a look, we're trying to find the area of this face here, also trying to get the area of this up there, the area of this side over here, and because this is a 3D object, we're also gonna have copies, basically. We're gonna have this side over here, we'll have this side down here, and we're also gonna have this side in the back as well. And I can draw these little dot, like these little dotted lines, to kind of help you see what's going on. So with that said, do you guys see that we have a top and a bottom, a left and a right, and a front and a back? We have to find all these areas and add it all up to find the total area, to find the total space to cover the present. Does that make a little more sense? Okay, cool. So notice I didn't bring the formula into this yet. All I'm just talking about is the, the, the idea of what we're talking about. Can I describe the math idea that we're talking about? This is called surface area. Write this down, everybody. Surface area. We're trying to find the surface area. Now I'm gonna give you the formula for surface area and I'm also gonna go ahead and explain how this formula works, okay? So here's the formula for surface area. Let me just take this and let's move this right over here. And I'm gonna give you the formula. Surface area for a rectangular prism is going to be two times the length times the width plus two times the length times the height. Allow me to move this one more time. Excuse that. Make sure I get all of it. Boom. And then lastly, we're going to add on two times the width times the height. So there's your formula. And this might look confusing, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Who here has seen this formula before? Before I even continue, who here has seen this formula before? Great. That's good. That's good. And if you haven't, be honest. If you haven't, be honest. You know, I'm not here to, to, to be appeased. You know, I'm here to understand the truth about where you're at in terms of your studying. Right, back in middle school. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, cool. So let me go ahead and explain how this formula works and how it's really, a, a, it's very, very straightforward. Let me just give you that. So here's how it works. Basically, when I take a look at my box again, let me just draw it one more time to really give you a good understanding here. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so when we look at a box like this, think of it like this. Here's your length, here's your width, and here's your height. Basically, everybody, when you do the length times the width, what you're getting is this right here, the bottom. But think about it like this. This up top is also the length, and this is also the width. So basically, when you do the two times the length times the width, it's here's one of the length times the width. That's one area, and you multiply it by two because you have a pair. You have the top that's the exact same. Same thing when you look at the second part. Let's take a look at this. The two times the length times the height. Well, here's your length, here's your height. Boom, this will be the length times the height right up here, right at the front. But remember everybody, it's a 3D object. The, pick, the front of the box is the same as the back of the box. 
So if you take a look at the back of the box, so that should have been going all the way over there. Sorry about that mess. But if you look at the back, bam, that's this right here. That's the back of the box. So my party people, do you understand why there's a bunch of twos here? There's a two in front of the length times the width because there's two, the front and the, or the, the um, bottom and top, two times the length times the height because the front and the back, and then two times the width times the height, that's going to be for the left and the right sides. So do you see why that two is there? Just basically doubling what you get to get both sides. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so that's what you have to know, guys. If you memorize the formula, you give yourself a much easier time because they're just asking you to figure out how much space you need to completely cover the gift. So basically finding the surface area is what that means. Surface area, the area of the surface. So with that, let's get to work. Let's plug everything we have in and we're done. Not that crazy of a problem. Here's our information. We have right over here, 15 yards long, 12 yards wide, 30 yards tall. You have everything that you need. So plug in your numbers, have a good time, and we're done. So right over here, surface area equals, and it's going to be 2 times 15 times 12 plus 2 times 15 times 30. Plus, and then lastly over here, it's gonna be two times, 12 times 30. And let me just move this over here just a little bit, just to give myself a little more room. Plus, again, two times, 12 times 30. Once we have that, now it seems like there's a lot of math to do, but if you've been practicing your mental math, this is actually gonna be pretty relaxing. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and do two times 15, that's gonna be 30, 30 times 12, that'll end up being 360. Everybody, can we confirm that, 360? Excellent, sounds good. So that's gonna be 360 right here. Next up, we're gonna have ourselves two times 15 times 30. So two times 15, that actually, it's gonna be 30. 30 times 30 is 900. Confirm in the chat box, yes or no, 900 for that second part. Good. And then lastly, we're gonna have ourselves over here, two times 12 times 30. So two times 12, that's gonna be 24. 24 times 30, that'll end up being what? 720? Cool, 720 it is, because 24 times three is 72. 24 times 30 is 720. So boom, that'll be it right there. And the last thing we have to do is just add all of this up. That's it, add this up, we're good. We're having a good time. So here, 360 plus 900, that'll be 1260. 1260 plus 720, that'll be 1980. Boom, and we're set. 1980 square yards. That is the surface area, but notice that once we actually knew the formula, we knew where to plug the numbers in, that was it. That was actually not terrible, but you guys, you tell me, how much of a problem was this problem? How much of an issue was it after we, did, we went ahead and uh, finished going over it? How are we feeling about this one now that we've gone over it? That's all good if you guessed, right? <laughs> it's totally fine if you guessed. It makes a lot more sense, feeling a little easier. Easier with the formula explained. Right, it wasn't that crazy just to pay attention to those keywords. And that's going to be the truth for a lot of these problems. You know, if you're just looking to pass, the main key is just keywords. Seriously, if you're just looking to pass, the basic keywords, that's all you really have to worry about. If you're looking for a 60 plus, there's some more that you got to do. But if you have your basics down, a 60 is not like there's not much of a difference between a 35 and a 60 if you have your basic strategy down. So with that said, let me go ahead and show you guys where you want to practice this if you're looking to practice this a little more. So let me go ahead and show you if you're on the website what you're going to do. 
So right over here, take a look behind me. The screen should be there for the website. And here's what you gotta do by party people. All you're gonna do is click arithmetic reasoning when you're ready. So you have to finish math basics first. But when you go to arithmetic reasoning, you wanna work on surface area. If you look down over here, where's surface area? Unit 11, we have more geometry problems there. You have area and perimeter, circle word problems, volume word problems, and then more geometry in section 11. If I scroll on down to section 11, and I said, hey, let's get started on more geometry. It'll take me right there into the arithmetic reasoning course, nice and easy, and boom. You'll be able to go ahead and practice all you want. Right triangles, composite area, area of composite figures, word problem drills, you'll find that in there. And you can go to the checkpoint once you're ready to tackle all of those different topics all at once. So super easy to find. There are lessons in there and we'll also be throwing recordings in there. If any classes that are, um, that are pertinent to this, we'll make sure it's available to you. So coming back right over here. That was section 11 for you. Hey, I got you. <laughs> so, yep, that's available to, to, for those of you in the program. That's super easy to find and get started and continue practicing. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.